Hello everyone, it's me is Amari welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll show you this type of photo manipulation in Photoshop 2023. So let's start the tutorial. If you're new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. At first, we should analyze the photo what we have done over there. So here the background these two images is our background and here is our model and here the color adjustment actually the light adjustment and here the moon here the levels and everything and here the rain pattern and here the like uh, fireflies and here again color adjustment and color adjustment and so on so let's jump into the tutorial at first going to the file and taking new options from here i'm taking artboard or the canvas 2000 pixel and 2000 pixel square shape and here is the rgb color tone uh, color profile here srgb is good or this one is good whichever do you want here is the custom options and here i would suggest you to like uh, rgb color and here is also bitmap and cmyk and lab color so because of my web publishing this one is rgb in a web that's why i'm using this one if i go to the lab color or print it out in the lab you can select this one rgb color and hit the create pattern okay after that going to the file and going to the place embedded options i downloaded lots of images for uh, doing this image uh, the manipulation actually during this and just over there and making this one bigger okay that's good right press and restore less earlier and giving one zero one so that's good and then going to the file and going to the place embedded options from here i would take this one and place over there that's good and giving this one zero two and i'll make this one group later after that mask it out after masking that g from the keyboard and mask this one gradually so like this okay press ctrl or command t you can make this one little bit of upper side you should just get the edge like that okay that's fine and going to the file and open up and uh, i have the image which i make this one uh, like a png format or the remove background the main image was like that and after uh, selecting all the steps like uh, using the selection tool like paint tool or quick selection tool or whatever you can use and uh, here is a little bit of things i left so i should remove this one okay that's good deleting this and let's check any other area is left over there let's check this one so after that i'm taking this photo into this image press ctrl or command t for the transformation and making this one a little bit of bigger and smaller like this okay that's good and now time to make this one like a mask and uh, like that and here mask it out and select the mask going to the brush tool I downloaded that from the brush Z and brush brushes and open with the add Photoshop and then going to the brush tool and after going there so grass brush this one you can take the grass from there this one so let's see yeah it could be or you can use a smallest one okay that's good that's fine actually so our brush is done and here a little bit of black area uh, we are watching over there you can just cut it off p from the paint tool and you can select this area from here because of that black portion is distracting our uh, process that's why 
you can cut it off by selecting like this make selections and hit ok and then select this and delete this one you can delete okay press ctrl command d okay that's fine and now going to the color lookup from here and after that here is the moonlight so you can give the moonlight like that you're getting the moonlight over there so after that i just giving over there so the mask it out so select the mask by pressing ctrl or command it will select and going to the color lookup over there and then going to the brush tool and going to the soft brush and after that you can remove the size of the brush or you can control the brush size by pressing third bracket opening and closing over there and then down the opacity like a 40 percent and flow 40 percent and brush over there a little bit not too much a little bit of brush over there okay press ctrl command d you can just leave it so the ambient is like a night mode but uh, you are getting some lights in a face because of i uh, will give the moon over there and a little bit of moonlight vibes so going to the moon png i'm just searching over there and here is this okay copying this one i'll provide you the download link in my video description so don't be audit ctrl command v and after that going to the screen mode press ctrl or command t and placing over there okay that's fine press ctrl or command t little bit of a smaller size yeah that's good but we, we should give this one into the this portion or adjust the light so ctrl or command a that means camera of filter and giving the color mixture the blue saturation down okay that's good or you can blend it out by using the levels over there so masking the levels and you can make the levels like this yeah that's fine so making it group moon and making the group that is the girl okay making the group that is the bg that means the background now the work for the rain and other stuff so going to the place embedded options so lots of um, rain png you will find in the website so i give this one to the upper side press ctrl command t making this one bigger and right press and flip horizontal just because of the direction of the face okay hit the tick button and make this one into screen mode that's good giving the name 01 and uh, we'll make the group later so over there that's good press ctrl or command j if you want to make uh, this one into the other shape so making this one vertical and flip horizontally okay you are getting density of the rain giving the name rain then after actually fireflies and copy the images and paste over there press ctrl or command t making this one a little bit of smaller okay that's good and going to the screen mode press ctrl or command t you can make this one a little bit of smaller so now finally touch up and now selecting all the stuffs making this one into convert to smart object and going to the filter and nick collection and color effects profile uh, like uh, effects and the other stuffs photo filters so here lots of preset i'm using the cross processing and from here which one is perfect for your preferences you can choose up there from here so this one is good yeah that's fine c01 and hit the ok button 
it will take a little bit of time for loading and it will provide you the final output like this so you are getting the manipulated image uh, that that is a fantasy image you are getting over there so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on the video comment section and the next video is i'm signing up today stay safe stay healthy keep me in your prayers bye bye